dear students now let us solve eighth question of exercise 4.3 Now see here the in the following figures G U N S and R U N S are parallelograms. Find x and y. The lengths are in centimeter. Now see here G U N S is a parallelogram. G U is equal to three y minus one. U N is equal to eighteen. S N is equal to twenty six. S G is equal to three x. Now we know that opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. So G U is equal to S N. G U is three y minus one is equal to S N. That is twenty six. Now we got the equation. We have to solve this. Three y is equal to twenty six plus one. That is three y is equal to twenty seven. Y is equal to twenty seven by Three, that is nine. Now, G S and U N are the opposite sides. So G S is equal to U N. G S is three x and U N is eighteen. So three x is equal to eighteen. That is x is equal to eighteen by three. So x is equal to six. We got the value of X and Y. X is six. Y is equal to nine. Now see there. See the second figure. Here, the length of the parts of diagonals are given. Twenty and Y plus seven are the parts of diagonal SU. R sixteen uh, and X plus Y are the parts of diagonal. R N. We know that diagonals bisect each other. So, y plus seven is equal to second one. Y plus seven is equal to twenty. Y is equal to twenty minus seven. That is thirteen. I have written y plus seven is equal to twenty because diagonals bisect each other. And parts of diagonal x plus y is equal to sixteen. We got the value of y that is thirteen. So x plus thirteen is equal to sixteen. X is equal to sixteen minus thirteen. That is is equal to three. So we found out the value of x and y in first figure and second one. 